We carried out tests with water, which was enriched with electrons by the key home cell. Both this water and untreated water as a reference medium were sent to us in anonymized form. We did not know which water was treated and which was untreated, and so we were naturally able to rule out any manipulation of the water samples and of the ensuing results by the experimenter. We carried out tests aimed at inactivating radicals that exerted an influence on the organism from an external source and those that can be produced in excess by the organism itself. And our reasoning was as follows. If the device has an appropriate effect, the inactivation should be clearly detected in both types of radicals, both those which exerted an influence from an external source as well as those which are produced in excess in the body. We were able to confirm this finding several times in both test series. Radicals are highly reactive molecules which have a free electron. In our case, these are oxygen molecules. This free electron is very keen to bond with a partner, and therefore it rapidly attacks molecules, damaging them and changing their functionality. First of all, the results with radicals that influence the cells from an external source, a dose-dependent effect was discovered here. This means that the higher the concentration of the treated water in the actual reaction mixture, the greater the inactivation of the added radicals. We found a dose-dependent effect in the other case as well. This effect was not quite as strong, but was nevertheless extremely remarkable. In this case, the cells no longer produced the radicals to the same extent, and at the same time, the rest of the radicals that were formed were inactivated much more strongly than in the original water with which we started out. What was particularly remarkable was the magnitude of the inactivation of these radicals. We were taken completely by surprise ourselves, because we had not expected this kind of result. It was found that a dose-dependent inactivation of the radicals took place, both in the case of the radicals which were exerting an influence from an external source, as well as in the case of the radicals formed by the cells themselves. And the magnitude of inactivation was actually in the range of 50 to 60 percent. That's significant. And now comes the question, what does the key home cell have to do with the water, and what effect does the water have on the cells? It's a reaction chain. If we have water that has been positively influenced, in this case, enriched with electrons, it can also develop its positive effects at the cellular level, just like we saw happen here in the experiments. When we consider the fact that the adult human being consists of about 60 to 70 percent water, and the water that we have used here in our tests was positively influenced as stated above, then it is easy to see that this also applies to the water in the human organism. We can prevent oxidative stress simply by inactivating most of the radicals. This should result in a marked improvement in our general condition and well-being. Oxidative stress is a metabolic state in which we have an excess of radicals in our organism.
This happens not only because cells can form this surplus due to their metabolic activity, but also because we are exposed to external stress, environmental influences, or maybe taking medication. And this excess of radicals is undesirable because it can affect our health or can, for example, damage the cell membrane as well as the genetic material at the cellular level. This can lead to subsequent damage that is completely undesirable. We conducted a number of tests over the last three years to examine the influence of electromagnetic radiation, for example, from mobile phones, routers, or the base stations of so-called decked telephones. We found that the water is negatively influenced by these electromagnetic fields. We also detected this negative influence in cell cultures, where it was found that cell vitality was reduced. One of the most recent findings is based on the test we carried out in Switzerland with an active 5G mobile phone. Here, we could see that there was a clear decrease in cell vitality within a very short time after a relatively brief conversation. In this respect, I can easily visualize the following. Electromagnetic fields trigger oxidative stress. If we are able to snatch away these radicals with the help of the key home cell, for instance, then we can at least partially neutralize the negative influence of electromagnetic radiation. I have discovered that water, in particular, which constitutes a major component of our bodies and which also covers most of the Earth, has extraordinary effects which cannot be imagined at first sight. Water is not just something wet. Water can also evidently store information, both positive and negative information. Negative information, for example, would include electromagnetic radiation that could have a negative influence on our cells. Positive information would be available if we had water enriched with electrons, for example. This is what the key home cell does. It is also a property of spring water that rises from the ground as an artesian well, i.e. without pressure. This water contains information from the rock layers and has a rapid and very positive effect when consumed. And I found this extremely surprising, because I would never have expected it in this form. I am basically a scientist who, of course, has completed the full academic curriculum at university and has consequently also been strongly influenced by conventional medicine. So I was obviously very surprised at the effects that were suddenly apparent here, which at first glance cannot be properly explained at all from the perspective of conventional medicine and the laboratory. But it was possible to reproduce these effects, both the positive ones and the negative ones. And that was quite amazing. For me, this means that every scientist should definitely explore new horizons, keep an open mind, and just tackle new things.